If it was bad before, it's worse now. COVID-19 has created something of a double whammy for Paralympians who lack both support and visibility. Wheelchair racer Sarah White recalls her community outreach works, an ambassador for Diffie Sportsif. I did it as well as some other athletes, and I think if we kind of share our story and get the word out there and um, try to kind of build that in the community as much as we can, then eventually people who don't know about parasports um, can find out about it this way. Halo Bonnell, lead author of a recent study on the factors surrounding the experiences of Quebecers living with disabilities, knows that visibility is a huge issue for this underrepresented group. People living with a physical disability are hidden. So um, when the general population doesn't see an issue or someone with a disability not being given the same service as others, people tend to make less of a statement about it. Bonnell knows that several conditions influence the lives of these individuals. As new programs get developed and new buildings are getting built, universal accessibility, um, accessible spaces are required. But we also we need to make sure that old ones are getting adapted and that programs are talking about it so that conversation starts amongst the programs. In Montreal, with a population of over 2 million, Improving the lives of people affected by disabilities is an undertaking that requires commitment. Without the necessary visibility and support, little may be done to improve their experiences. This is Liam Hennessy, reporting for the city.